What's up, my fellow Disney fans? Wow, I sound old. <laughs> so, a few days ago, I went to the cinema and I watched Aladdin and I just had some thoughts. <laughs> so, I want to talk about them. I feel like this movie really kind of flew under the radar for a lot of people, which I get because this year is just full of Disney releases. But still, you know, Aladdin is one of the most beloved Disney movies of all time and nobody is really talking about Aladdin all that much. There was a lot of uproar when the trailer came out because it was a mess. When I saw the trailer, I was like, oh no. The trailer just made the movie look so cheap and a lot of it had to do with Genie being the way he looked. Um, I almost wasn't gonna see the movie, but then I realized that I would definitely regret it. And I know, I'm that kind of a fan. I'm loyal to the Disney company and I hate myself for it, but I just, I had to go see it. And I had a really good time. Do I think it's the best movie ever? No. There were some things that bothered me, but overall this movie was just really fun. After exiting the movie theater, I immediately thought I want to see this movie again. I don't want to pay for it, I so like I'm probably not gonna go see it again in theaters, but like if I could really cheaply then I would. <laughs> I'm stingy. If you haven't seen the live action, I'll quickly tell you my feelings without spoiling anything. I recommend going to see it. I think it's a really fun ride. They've made some really interesting changes. My favorite change being Jasmine. Jasmine's character is so good! I love Jasmine in the animated movie, but they just elevated her. They deepened her character so much, and the song she sings is so friggin' powerful. It's the best part of the movie. The songs, some of them, I really, really loved what they did with it, and other songs I think they completely missed the mark on. I think it was a very much like a hit or miss type of soundtrack. There are other things that I'm not a big fan of, like some of the animation wasn't that good. Some things I do feel like they cheapened out on a little bit. Use of color could have been better. I think they tried to go for a much more realistic look, which I get because it's the live action, but I feel like they went too far in some areas with that. I recommend going to see it. Now I'm just going to talk in detail. Uh, so spoiler alert, from now on there's going to be spoilers. <laughs> So, Aladdin. I really liked this movie as a child. I knew that they had a lot to live up to, but I was mostly excited. And it's hard to compare the two. Um, I recently rewatched the animated version as well. It's a different thing. It's hard to say this one's better or this one's better, especially because there's so much nostalgia involved in the animation. So, let's get into it. Maybe I'll start out with the bad so we can end with the good. <laughs> um, let's have a look. First off, the movie starts off with Will Smith on the boat with his family. I thought that was cool, but then when I compare it to the original, I really prefer the original. Prefer the original? Where like, there's just like this merchant trying to sell you something and you don't figure out that it's the genie until the end of the movie, or even then, it's kind of left up to interpretation. Whereas here it's very much in your face. It's like, oh, it's the genie and his children and he's telling the story of Aladdin. I do, however, really like the new version of Arabian Nights. I love how heavy and full the song sounds. Just, they did a really good job with that. Of course, one negative thing about it is auto-tune. <laughs> frustrates me. This is why I love listening to like really old movie soundtracks like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or something like that because you can hear that it's just the actor's singing voice. Same thing happened with um, Beauty and the Beast, like it's just so smooth and like not like why can't they just use their real voice? And like, why do they have to like smooth everything out with a computer? Like, no. I have the same problem with The Greatest Showman. It's like, it frustrates me. But that's a rant for another video. Pretty much immediately we are thrown into Aladdin meeting Jasmine in the marketplace and him having to run away and singing One Jump Ahead. All of that just goes so fast in the movie that it was a little bit too much for me. And I don't know, I kind of want to watch it again to see if I still feel that way. But when I was watching it, I felt like the pacing was off. Like it was so fast. I just sat down to watch this movie and like Aladdin and Jasmine have already met and they're running away from the cops. Because in the original, you really like, you spend some time with Jasmine alone in the castle and you sort of learn what kind of a person she is and you learn what kind of a person Aladdin is because you see his life on the streets. Then when they meet, I guess it's 
it's more impactful because we already know the characters a little bit. I also never liked how dumb Jasmine is in the marketplace. She's just like, well, I don't have any money, you know? We gotta give the apple to the kids. Don't have to pay for it, what's money? Especially because in this movie, she's supposed to be more, like she cares about the people and she seems to like know a little bit more about Agrabah. One Jump Ahead as a song, I thought they completely butchered. I don't know what went wrong there. Like One Jump Ahead is the song where Aladdin's being chased by all of these guards, right? In the original, the whole tempo is like, I'm running away, I'm running away, it's going fast and oh. The tempo and the rhythm of the song matches what's going on. But here, they've kind of slowed it down and kind of made it like a that doesn't work in this song because he's running away we're supposed to feel like we're running away from something you have to feel in a rush when you listen to that song and here it was just kind of like i'm chilling i'm running away but i'm chilling and like it was so jarring for me and i just i was like why why who made this decision i know they probably wanted to change it a little bit but this is not the way Mm -mm. So in the beginning, I was really like, oh no, I am not gonna like this movie. I was legit like stressing out because I was like, this is not a good start <laughs> to the movie. But, and it's a big but, the movie turns it around, I think. The CGI. I don't want to be rude to the CGI department, but what were they thinking? It's like not, it's like at some points it's like they didn't even try. I, and I, I really honestly don't understand what happened because it's like, this is Disney, so you expect a lot. This is like the people who did Jungle Book, right? My only theory is that Aladdin was being made at the same time that the new Lion King was being made. And obviously the new Lion King movie is all computer animated. So obviously it needs to be good animation. So they didn't have enough people to work on Aladdin. It's so obvious. And it's so sad because you expect more from Disney, you know? I love Will Smith and I think he did a fantastic job as the genie. I, the moment he was cast, I was like, yes, such a good casting, but they did him wrong. <laughs> I am so upset. And you can tell that it's not Will Smith's fault because there are some scenes where Will Smith is not blue and he's just his regular self. And he's amazing. He's so good. But whenever he's blue and CGI, he looks like a creepy game character from 10 years ago. His like facial expression is so derpy the whole time and you can't take anything he says seriously. And it just ruins so many moments in the movie that it's, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's probably the number one thing that frustrated me about this movie. And it's not just the genie. It's like, there's this moment where Raja licks Aladdin's face and there is like no saliva on Aladdin's face. That's just such a dumb mistake. This leads me to another point, And that is that I feel like they cheapened out on some things. So for example, the CGI, I think, could have been better. There are some other things as well where it just looks like they could have done more and they didn't go all the way with it. I think that's a big theme in this movie. For example, with the CGI, they should have done more. But also, something that I really care about when I watch movies is the colors. I'm a very like color oriented person. I don't know, I always notice colors. <laughs> if a movie has good coloring, I will instantly love it. This is why I love La La Land so much. The original Aladdin has really beautiful coloring. They have that wonderful blue yellow structure. That's what I call it, the blue yellow structure. It's like Starry Night of Van Gogh, blue yellow structure. Basically, it's a cool, warm contrast. And Aladdin in the animated movie does that really well. And in this movie, I don't know, I think they just wanted to go for realism and so everything was just dark. Everything was just blue and dark. What is attractive about that? Like the Cave of Wonders? What cave of... What, what wonders? I see the cave, I don't see the wonders. I mean there was like some gold sprinkled on the floor but like it's supposed to be impressive and it's not impressive at all especially comparing to the original. And I get what you're saying. It's like well they couldn't have made everything gold because it would have been unrealistic. But like no, this is Disney. They could have found a creative way to make the gold shimmer, especially something like the Cave of Wonders, which is so iconic. To have it being simplified to this boring, dark cave is just such a letdown. And this happens throughout the movie a lot. This is why the A Whole New World sequence is so stupid in this movie. Like, 
it's just dark. It's like the long night episode from Game of Thrones. You barely see anything because it's just dark. And I get it, it's nighttime, but they could have done something. Like there could have been lights. I don't know, they could have done it at sunset or something like that or something to make it not boring and just one tone. It was just blue. Everything was blue, dark blue. Where's the warm colors? I need the warm colors, especially because it's like a romantic flight, you know? We need more. And this is not only the colors. This is also what I mean with they didn't go far enough. In the original, and I know I'm comparing to the original again, but in the original, they do so many cool Cool things like they're literally flying through clouds they're like literally twisting around the cloud and like making it look like a snow cone it's so cool and here they're chilling I really expected more from that because it's such an iconic scene you know I wish they would have done something with it I know this sounds like I hated the movie I didn't I had a great time I love this movie but we're getting to the good parts okay just, just hold on a lot of people complained about Jafar in the movie um, I also agree Jafar was not the best casting. Jafar is one of those really cool villains because he's like just, he, just his face he just looks so evil. He looks like an evil uncle type of guy and this guy was just kind of like a he looked like a nice guy. He looked like a nice college student type guy. How would a, a guy this young have become the royal vizier? I did like some of the changes they made to his character like how he spoke to Aladdin. His little speeches to manipulate Aladdin were really well done, but he just, he wasn't evil enough, you know. Again, I like this movie, just hold on. Lastly, I think that the finale could have been bigger, which I guess just ties into my overall opinion that I feel they didn't go far enough with it. The finale didn't feel like an epic big boss battle finale. I just wanted them to do more with it. It would have been cool if Jafar actually turned into the big snake, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have been able to do that because the CGI would have just not been good. Oh, it just, it would have been so cool if it would have been just like Agrabah was getting destroyed or like, you know, how like the castle, he like throws the castle into the air or something like that. Like it should have been bigger. I don't know. I really yeah, that would have been cool So those are all the things I didn't like about the movie I know it sounds like I hated this movie, but I didn't I really like this movie <laughs> Hold on. So on to the things that I did like it was really funny I laughed out loud many times Aladdin really grew on me as a character in the original I'm not a big fan of Aladdin. He was never my favorite Disney prince as a kid because I always thought he was kind of too smooth. Here they kind of make him a little clumsy at times and that's just so much more likable. The scene where he meets the Sultan for the first time and he's like talking about jams for like a whole minute. Genie and Aladdin's uh, interactions they had really good chemistry. Also, they brought in this new character, Dahlia, who is the servant of Jasmine. She is hilarious. She's so weird, but like in a good way. If you would have told me that Jeannie gets a love interest, I would have been like, oh no, because it's just like, you know, we don't need that. Not everybody needs a love story, but the way they did it in this movie was just great. It wasn't that lovey-dovey or anything. It was mostly for comedic relief. I loved how Dahlia and Jasmine were like really close when they were lying on the bed together talking about boys. I just loved that. All that like clumsy behavior were some of my favorite parts of the movie. Another thing I really liked were the dancing sequences. I love dance and I love that there was like actual dance sequences, especially the one in the palace where like Jasmine starts dancing all like beautifully. You know, then Aladdin comes in and just, I, I love dance sequences and I'm so glad that they added that. Even in the other numbers, like there's a lot of dance that goes on and I was a big fan of that. I think that's a good addition. And I really loved all the costumes. I thought the costume department, like, I mean, I kept like focusing on the little details on everybody's costumes. And then probably my favorite part of the whole movie was just... Jasmine. Jasmine was so good in this movie. First of all, I really loved what they did with her character. Like in the original, Jasmine's whole thing is I want to marry for love, which is fine, but you know, it's not that special. But in this movie, she's a lot more hands-on. She is really involved in the ruling of Agrabah and she wants to become the ruler of Agrabah. She doesn't want to have to marry someone and then her husband will be the ruler. No, she wants to rule because she knows her people and she cares about her people. That just made so much sense for her and I'm just so happy that they did that. You know how in Beauty and the Beast they tried to make Belle more strong feminist woman? 
and they like made her an inventor. We need to make these princesses more modern and like feminist. So they, they made Belle an inventor and then here in this case they made Jasmine more ambitious, wanting to become the ruler of Agrabah. In Beauty and the Beast, it doesn't work. In Aladdin, it works. The reason it doesn't work in Beauty and the Beast is because it never comes to play in the plot. It's just like thrown in there in the beginning, like, oh, she's an inventor. I don't know, she invents like a washing machine in the beginning. It has nothing to do with the plot or the story, and it seems like it's just thrown in there to make her seem more strong woman <laughs> and it's i don't know it was weird whereas here with jasmine you can tell in many scenes that she's actually involved and she truly does care that's why it just works and that gives her so much more personality and so much more depth and likableness <laughs> i just love her <laughs> which brings me to my next point which is her song that she sings it's done really well one minor thing, negative thing that I have to say about it is that I don't like how it doesn't really fit with the rest of the soundtrack. Like the whole soundtrack should sound cohesive and in this case it doesn't. They didn't really do a good job of working that song into the rest of the soundtrack. I feel like it's a little bit too different. But that being said, it is a beautiful song and I've been listening to it on repeat. I love how it's got like the pre song and then it's got the reprise and I love me a good reprise. Reprises are always my favorite parts of soundtracks because they always go hard. When she started singing her song at the start of the movie, I thought it was good, but it was like really short and I was like, oh, that's it. And I just kind of forgot about it. Then when it came back in the reprise and she like turns around, I was just like, I freaking lost it. I was bawling my eyes out. It's because of the song is really good. The way it's done and the way it's filmed and set up in the story is perfect. Like it comes in at the exact perfect timing. And also just her performance is stunning. She's like crying as she's singing the song and she's so angry and frustrated and I felt that. It's so good. I just want everyone to see this movie for that moment alone. I love how they brought in this extra dimension of Jasmine kind of rebels against Jafar and she talks to the guards and she's like, you have a choice. You can stand by us. And then the guards do stand by her and she kind of manages to thwart Jafar in that moment. I could talk about Jasmine for hours, but I think I shouldn't. And lastly, I also liked how Aladdin seemed completely supportive of Jasmine wanting to be a ruler. He never questions it, like he sees her passion and he completely supports her in that. It's a very subtle thing in the movie, but I really appreciated that. So I think that's about all I had to say. I mean, I could go on about Jasmine, honestly, but um, I need to stop. If you haven't seen it, just you have to go see it. It's good. Please let me know what you thought of this movie in the comments. The reviews seem very mixed. But yeah, I had a great time watching this, even though there were so many things wrong with it. <laughs> that was my uh, random little review, I guess, uh, for the new Aladdin movie. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be all for me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.